Hey folks, Clutch here. Welcome back to the FSN Farm Sim Network. That's right, we're on the Farm Sim Network today. And we are actually out on Medicine Creek. Guys, I've got lots of stuff going on. We gotta get little blue going. Little blue. She's over there. Uh we gotta field the harvest, but I'm a little short on cash. 3800 bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that right away. To begin with, let's uh let's go make some money quickly. I'll show you what I got a plan. I got a plan, I got a plan. You're gonna like this. Let's go. Bitter patter. <laughs> Simulations. All right, guys. So I need, I've got a plan here to make a little bit of extra cash just to get us going today. Like I said, we're minus four grand right now. Um, normally, I would say that's not a big deal, but I do need to harvest a, a pretty big field today. And I'm really concerned that if I run out of, um, if I run out of fuel, I'm not going to have a way to purchase any. And I mean, I could transfer money from our account on uh, our offsite account into, into the game, but that can take up to 24 hours, to 24 to 48 hours even. I don't have time to wait if I start harvesting. If I get in the combine and I start working away, um, it's too late. So I need to be proactive here. And this is what I'm doing today. So in back behind me, you can see we've got little blue on our flat deck. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, what we're using today. <laughs> it's gonna be, we're gonna do a couple missions and just to see if we can get a couple grand extra before we dive into this field should be enough i think if i can do like two maybe might, might have to do three missions to get enough money to be able to get us out of the hole we'll see we'll see what we can find there the missions i've seen so far are not great there's not a lot of money to be made there so um yeah we've got to drive across the map it's just a lot of driving is really what it comes down to we get to practice our loader skills which is which is good but <laughs> man a lot of driving which i don't mind driving the ford we've got our flat deck back so you can see a little blue in the mirrors looks good looks good oh this is the field actually right here on our left is the field oh a little blue's falling off guys look at the mirror how far can i go stay on there you stay on little blue so that's the field right there we need to harvest uh today i want to get into that it's a big field it's going to be a huge payday but i need to get i need to get a little bit of money first just to make sure we can cover any expenses we might incur um i've got leased equipment and i've got someone's borrowed combine as well sitting back at the farm you saw the john deere back there that's not ours. Uh, I think that might be, uh, it might be Spencer TVs. I don't even know to be honest, but I have access to it. So we're gonna use that probably today unless someone else jumps in here and takes it away from me. All right, down at the shop for our pickup location for our little transport mission we got going on. A little transport delivery going on down here. We just need those four pallets and they need to be brought back up in pretty much north where we were. So this is how this works. Little blue, you get to pick stuff up and drop it off. That's all there is to it. It's actually relatively simple. Uh, it's just you got to sit down and do a little bit of work for five minutes. That's all. Drop this in. Drop that. Nice. That'll work. And load it up on the flat deck. So I can usually fit. Uh, I can fit all four pallets no problem on this flat deck along with the tractor. Unfortunately, uh, that's the only way we can move stuff around. It's the best system we've got. I don't know. I think we got kind of lucky to be honest with you. This is a pretty good setup. This makes this is a good way to make just money to make do when we need it. The last minute, it's uh, it's been a kind of a save. It's a little bit of a save. Whoa, oh man, look at that! Best driver in farm sim. <laughs> um, you know what? I'll push this on just a touch more, just to straighten it out. There we go. All right, there's one. I'll get the other four loaded. But this is a, a really good way to make a couple extra grand here and there when we need it like this. One last pallet to grab. Let's zip in here, grab this last one. Perfect. Up we go. Let's zip this around. And we should be good here, folks. Uh, yeah, like I said, not a bad way to make a little extra coin, a little extra cabbage when you're starting off, especially here. Definitely doesn't pay that well, but you can make a decent amount of money in, in short order. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to see, like maybe let's put it like that. There we go. Nice, good, good, good. All right, let's put little blue back on the deck, and uh, we'll get out of here. This uh, this should work out just just peachy keen. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. Get on up. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Cool. All right, let's drop this down. Hit the road. Delivery location for all this stuff is way up north. Actually, it's right by the field uh, that we need to get into. So it's pretty much on the other side of the map. There is no straight shot across the whole county in here. We've got to go for quite a track to get up there. Uh, here's the livestock barns. And we're going to be turning right here. 
Oh, slow her down, slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. Nice. Everything stayed together back there, looks like. I think we're okay. Excellent. All right. And all the way up to the north side. And delivery is right here on the right-hand side. I believe it should be right here. Jump on in. Uh, so if I pull in, I find there's a best spot. You can see like a brown spot right here. And that's where the delivery location is. We'll just pull up alongside of that and then shove everything off. Nice. Excellent. That should be pretty much where I want to be. Let's turn this off. Unstrap everything. And, uh, oh, oh, oh. Gotta lower that down. We'll get a little blue and we'll just start moving crates off. It should be... Or at least straightforward. We'll see if the patented clutch method of moving these off is going to work. Um, sometimes these bind up. Let's see. Go, go, go. Nice. There's one. <laughs> There's two. Come on, baby. Get rid of that last. Get off. There we go. I can lift this up now. Oh, this is perfect. That's how you do that. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't matter what state it comes in as long as it gets there, right? I think that's going to be my... It's like a, I'm like a Swift driver. Um, come on. Come on. What if I drop this all the way down? Maybe then? Nope. Oh, no! <laughs> and then I need to uh, bang on the side of the truck to get it off, I guess. Let's see if I can do this. On, maybe one on the crates. All right, got disconnected. Um, I had to kind of throw it off. <laughs> it was not nice. Uh, anyways, now I just got to find out the right location to put all these in. And we can call it a day. A couple grand. It should be right here now. Right about there. Should be the right spot. There we go. Transport finished. Oh, you know what? We'll leave this connected. That's fine. Uh, let's go take a look. Contract. Collect. Nice. So, uh, 25, 9. Not bad. That's uh, some easy cash. All right, we gotta do one more, and we'll be in the in the block again. I'm still shy, 1,200 bucks. So I'll do one more quick mission, and uh, then we'll get into that field. Oh, that up. Run, 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 run. All right, let's go, little blue. One more mission, buddy. Another delivery on its way. Fortunately, this one is like just down the street from the, the drop bar, the pickup location. Um, it's to the farm on our right down here. And I just picked it up just behind us. At, actually, it's like the county, uh, the county shop. Go across here, go, 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 go. Yeah, it's like right here. <laughs> it's so close. That's all right. That's quick. It's not a lot of money. I think it's barely going to get it. We might have like 100 bucks put in the block after we get this dropped off. Yeah, not a ton of cash to be made there. No other contracts. We have 41 bucks now. I don't know how much fuel I'm going to be able to buy for 41 bucks, guys. That's all the contracts are available. So I'm stuck now. That's it. That's all we can do. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I was hoping to get a couple thousand bucks, maybe. Um... I mean, it only took me, what, half an hour, not even 15 minutes worth of work. So it wasn't really like it was that much to get back. But still, 41 bucks. Come on, man. $41. What am I going to buy? Did we get a cup of coffee nowadays for that, it seems like. All right, back at the farm. You guys can see, look at all the... Everything's growing again. So Stevie has been busy in here planting uh, and, well, harvesting and planting. So this was got harvested for us. Same with the big field over there. It's been replanted. The old cow pasture in behind, it's been replanted and harvested. We got lots of crops in our silo. We need to start selling. But no time for that today. So we've got a Kloss here. The Kloss Lexian. This is not bad. He leased this. I wasn't expecting this. The 740's leased with this Macdon header. Nice. We'll take that over there. I'm going to borrow this. I don't know where this uh, 960, 960, 9650 came from. I don't know whose this is. I have access to it. Um, I checked the fuel and everything. I would say I would say I'd fill it up afterwards, but I don't have any money for that, so I'm just gonna borrow it. <laughs> Hopefully they don't notice. Let's get the cloth down to the field first. I might hire a worker, and you know what? By hiring a worker, we're gonna go in debt anyways. Um, but I want to get two combines going in this field, so I'm hoping that we can do this. We'll see. Let's get the beacons on, hazards on. We got a bit of a trek ahead of us. Now the other problem is it's um, well, it is a long drive. I need to bring, what is it, the uh, the John Deere over with those three grain bins as well. That's going to be something I need to bring all the way over here. Like I said, it's well, all the way across the map. And I hope, uh, I'm definitely going to have to make a couple of trips at some point in time. Bringing the, the, uh, the product back and forth. That is going to be a bit of a pain. But I don't really have a choice. I don't, I don't know what else I could possibly do with it. But anyways, we'll get on to that anyways. Oh, we got a tractor just sitting here, hanging out. 
Nice. Is that a Veltra? Might have been a Veltra. Anyways, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Let's get over to this field. We'll get in here. We'll start uh, start harvesting away. It's a big field. This is going to take us some time. Between these two combines, we should be able to get there somewhat quick. But I'm going to have to hire some workers, I think. I would like to actually get some workers in here, but um, no one's around, so I'm on my own. Everything's brought down to the field. We've got both combines. We've got our tractor with three grain bins, which I'm not sure about the legalities of that. But anyways, let's get into here. Let's get some work done. Um, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Where's the best way? I'm going to put this out on the road for the time being. I don't think anyone's coming. It'll just be two seconds. Drop this off. Oh, man. Can I reach inside here? There we go. Perfect. Oh, easy. Easy. You stay up here, trailer. Grab the header. Come on. And, of course, we've got to get out to reconnect this. That's always fun. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Do I need to connect the PTO is the question on this one. There we go. Oh, it's just a tap. There we go. We're good. I think. Should be good. All right, so I'm going to do a headland all the way around. Give us a little bit of space, a little bit of breathing room. Oh. And from there, then we should be able to uh, get in with both both harvesters. All right. So we got canola. Nice. Big canola field. So this is going to be, you know, like I said, when we planted this, the idea was we go with a low yield, uh, a low yield crop, but uh, high value, low yield. Because we're that's a long ways away. We're such a long ways away from our farm, and trying to have to trek everything back and forth is such a pain in the butt. So. Um, I try to go with something that doesn't give us a ton of yield, but is still pretty high value, right? And this is a kind of a good compromise. I mean, soybeans probably would have been just as good, if not maybe better. But this is going to be okay. I think we're going... Oh, we already got 10%. Guys, I'm not going to make it all the way around. There's no way. Not a chance. Not a chance. All right, guys, we only got about... Uh, let me think here. Like two-thirds of the way around the field. That's it. So, um, is this going to be a bit of a chore? This is a lot of work. It's good, though. Cause we're gonna get a ton of cash off this Let's take a quick look oh man there we go john deere is trucking around with our three bins oh man it's so good i've got the uh the back window open here fresh air coming in oh this is so good it's so good i'm excited about this field guys i'm excited this is really gonna push us uh into a good position i think we might be able to buy some decent like a, an actual combine and not to lease it all the time I don't know if I really want to do that, to be perfectly honest. It's nice. I mean, 20 grand a pop, sure, it's expensive, but it's it does make more sense a lot for the amount of times, I don't know, if we get one more field, and you, you need to buy one, right? Let's see here. Get this all loaded in. Um, today? There we go. Nice. Shut this off. We can turn that down. Excellent. Um, yeah, so like two-thirds away around the field, guys. This is going to be so good. This is so good. I am totally stoked right now with the fact that uh, we're going to be getting a ton of money off this field. Now we got to look at, I don't know, I think we should buy a new field first and rather than buying a combine. I think a new field still should be in our, what we be, what we're looking towards. I think that's a, a better deal than, than buying an equipment, but we'll see. Uh, we'll get a couple hundred grand, hopefully between this and the rest of our crops, get this replanted right away. It's probably going to be more of like a winter or a wheat or something along those lines, and then we'll harvest it come the spring. Um, I'm thinking we can double crop this starting next year. This year, obviously, we're not going to get to it midsummer already. There's nothing that's going to come up in time. But uh, we can get this replanted for next year at least. That should about do it. Fire this bad boy on up. Get that pipe away. And away we go. Nice. All right, so we should be able to get our full headland done now, of course. And once this is done, I might start off that little John Deere as well and see if uh, we can dive both of these combines into this field. Oh, man, we're at minus. A loan payment must have come out for the lease. Seventeen hundred dollars. I just lost seventeen hundred bucks from nothing. That's a kick in the pants. Oh well. Oh man, I think we'll be okay after this. This calm. This harvest is done, though, guys. I think we're gonna be okay. We're starting to come back together. Things are coming together. All right, just finishing up our one little bit of. I wanted to make it a little extra wide on the headland on this one side, just because there's trees and there's that cliff. I don't need anyone driving off the edge when they're spinning the thing around. That's just going to be bad news. Now, I've got uh, someone hired in the John Deere, and they're already cutting into this field. I'm trying to cut it somewhat in half. Of course, that John Deere's got a way smaller header than this Mac Don, this 45-footer we got on the uh, the Kloss. So, um, I went a little bit generous on the one, one side versus the other. We'll zip over here, and you can take a look. 
he is coming back. Oh, 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 oh. Don't drive into the field. Stay on the, the cut side. There he is right there. So I'm going to take the Colossus on the bigger side, hopefully. I think he hopefully spun around the right way. And of course he didn't. Let me go run across and fix that. Silly, silly. You're going the wrong way. No, no, I don't want you to take this big side. You take the little side. There we go. That's better. So he got, what, 21% from one pass. That's, uh, you should be able to get quite a bit in here. That's what's five passes, of course. Let him go. Excellent. All right, there you go. Now you're good to go. And now we can jump in with the claws. We'll take, oh, lower that down. And we'll take this side right here. Excellent. All right, go, go, go. All right, guys. Well, there we go. We've got two combines in the field now. That's uh, not bad. That's good. We'll get this field done. It shouldn't take us too, too long now with both of them going away. That's... I might have been a little bit too generous on this side. <laughs> um, yeah, he doesn't have very much work to do by comparison. That's a lot smaller field for the, the John Deere to work on. Look at that. That's way smaller. Anyways, he's got the 645 header on that. You might remember we tried to use that John Deere with the larger Mac Don header and uh, that failed miserably. It was un <laughs> I ended up wasting 20 grand thanks to that little uh, side project. So this time we're not going to be doing that, of course, but I don't know who's, I still don't know whose harvester that is. Don't tell anybody, but we are borrowing it for a day. Like I said, I'd like to fill it up afterwards, at least give him a full tank of fuel, but uh, I don't have any money to fill it up with. So we're going to keep that. That's, that's fine. It's a donation to the Clutch and Stevio farm. What can I say? All right, we're getting up to the end. We'll spin this around. Uh, once that's done, I'm going to go grab the John Deere. Might hire, I'm going to hire somebody else over here as well. And I'm just going to start, just start trucking carts around. That's my big plan. Be cart trucking. Spinning back around and back in we go. Could have done that a better job of that. It's more of an angled, <laughs> I got an angled headland or an angled uh, cut right now. That's not good. We got no GPS on either of these units either, which is kind of too bad. But I'm sure we're doing a field this size. Um, but what do you expect? The only, I think we have GPS on the uh, the John Deere tractor, but that's about it. That is about it right now. It's not something we have a lot of. All right, 66%. We'll get to the far end here. I don't have to unload this thing. I better run across and go grab that uh, that tractor right now. We've already got one full bin from uh, doing the headlands. Yeah, one full bin. Uh, it's going to be decent. We'll, we'll fill up all three of these bins, I'm sure, before we get done this. Let's see if I can gr grab in some before he gets to the end here, since he's gonna, the pipe's on the right side right now. I'd like to keep him moving if I can, if at all possible. Come on, open. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Let's see if we can take as much as we possibly can. Keep him, keep him working away. The, be the more he works, the better off we'll be here. Oh, missed just a touch. That's okay. We'll take as much as we can off this. And I'll go unload that John Deere, I think. Uh, oh, it's no point. We might as well wait until he gets back. No, 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 no rush. We're in no rush. We'll just wait for this to unload. And then once the John Deere's back, we'll unload that one as well. Gloss is back on its way. John Deere is just pulling in. He's going to flip around now as well. And uh, Actually, let's go jump in the tractor here. We'll catch him as he does the spin. Nice. Come on, turn around for me. And we'll take whatever he's got in there. He doesn't have that much in there, but uh, yeah, maybe a little half full boat. Give or take. Drop that down. Come on. Nice. There we go. Give me those soy or give me those soybeans. Give me that canola. <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to judge now. And that second cart, that third cart, she gets a little dicey trying to judge distances. But we're getting it. It looks good. All right. I'm happy with that. Sweet. Let's see if we can fill this thing right up. He's got to be. I don't know how much he's got in there for for leftover space, but. There can't be too much in there. It's not that big of a tank on that uh, that John Deere, that's for sure. I think it's only like 11,000, if even. All right, close enough. Uh, we'll let him go. And he can just continue on. Keep on, keep on on. Let's get out of the way here. Nice. I'll park right over here, actually. Oh, looks like uh, we missed a little swatch. That's not a big deal, though. He can get that on the way back. I'll wait for the Colossus. And uh, we're just going to keep on doing laps here, guys. Grabbing what we can. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Everything is coming together. Everything's coming up clutch. I like this. 
All right, almost full. Down to the end. And out of the way, let him do his thing. Excellent, so uh, maybe one more pass from the Kloss here and we'll be full, so we'll have to make a trip back to the farm. Um, that's going to be interesting. I don't know if I can make it there. It should be able to make it there in time for them to fill up and back, maybe? Oh, that's a long trek, guys. I don't know. It's going to be a long trek. We'll have to wait and see. All right, let him spin right around here and we'll grab whatever he's got, then we'll go for a, a trek back home. Nice. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tight one to make it there in time. You know, luckily, everything's got enough fuel, guys. I was, that was my big concern. Once again, I learned from my mistakes last time that we didn't have enough fuel. I think everything's got enough fuel. This is the, I think this tractor here has got the least amount of fuel. It's only down, what, a quarter? So we shouldn't have an issue there. Uh, but it, it's going to be something we need to consider very soon again, of course. I need to find a way to make sure we got money in this account. Uh, it's the loan that's that we have in here is really what's hurting us right now. Uh, we owe like half a million bucks, so that's always coming out. And when you're not paying attention to it, all of a sudden you're missing a bunch of money because a loan payment came out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Just a bit of a pain. So let's see here. We'll get this all the way up. Perfect. Set that up. And uh, we should be good to go now. Nice. It's a nice easy cruise. We can almost, almost see it from inside the cab. Not quite. Can't quite see the canola coming in. Or, yeah, there we go. Not quite. Everything looks good though, guys. I think uh, I think we'll be all right. I was a little concerned but we didn't have enough money, but I think now that that uh, we've managed to get going at least here, we'll be fine. Oh man! Keep on going. Keep on going. There we go. Anyways, we'll fill this up, and then I think this will be the last load once we get done this pass, where we'll be around ninety percent, looks like, and we'll uh, we'll head home and dump this all out. 97% full, over 70,000 liters of canola going back to our shop. Um, now, the other problem I just totally forgot about is how heavy this is. I mean, we're maxing ourselves out at 18 miles an hour. We do have a hill to climb, kind of, on the way back to our farm. There's nothing crazy. It should be able to handle it, but I forgot how, uh, how heavy this thing is. Across the bridge, over the river. And you should be able to see our farm as soon as we bank over to the left here. Uh, you can see our farm again, but it's a—it's still a trek, guys. This is no no joke whatsoever. Let's see here. Come off to the left. If you look on the right side, that's not our farm there. Look on our right, on the right-hand side of the road, you can see it. A straight shot from here, but it's a long, long ways away. There it is. You can kind of see a silo. That's us right over there. That's our farm. Yep. Buckle in. Let's go for a nice... Well, 18 mile an hour drive. Ah, so slow. <laughs> the last climb up to the farm. Oh, this feels like it took forever. It was such a long drive. All right, come on up. Get up there. It's so heavy. It's so heavy. All right, around the corner, and we'll dump these on. Hey, Stevio left the garage door open. Anyways. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a truck. I don't even know whose truck this is sitting here either. Is that Spencer's? It might be Spencer's. I have to take care of that. and go put it on a roof someplace. Only I had something I could lift it up. <laughs> Alright, there is our silo. Let's uh, get these in here. Now this is... Uh, it, it takes such a long time to dump as well. It doesn't happen immediately, <laughs> that's for sure. And we've got three of these things to do. There's no way... Oh man, they're going to be busy on the far side. They're going to be full by the time we get back. That's okay. In we go. She's a bit of a tight fit. Yeah, it's a little one. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Alright, perfect. There was the first one. Um, now the other problem is I can only dump one at a time in here. I've tried to do more than once and we can only fit one at a time. So you're stuck waiting. Let's take a look. Is that? Yeah, it's dumping out right there. You can barely even see it. Cool. All right. Well, we'll dump all three of these and get it done with. And empty. Let's make a run back into the field. They should be waiting for us by the time we get there. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure they are. Oh yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I didn't really schedule that timing out so well, but I don't think there's much else I could really do, guys. Oh, it'd be nice if we could get an auger wagon with uh, with a tractor trailer unit. I think that would make life a little bit simpler. This drive is is going to kill us if we have any more big fields that are this far away from our farm. Like this is, I mean, yeah, hold seventy thousand liters. Don't do all three of these, but this is such a long drive, and when you're maxing out at what fourteen miles an hour, <laughs> it's not exactly the best route. I don't know. We'll see. If you get anything further south, yeah, it's time we uh, think of finding ways of upgrading that. 
back towards the field. You can see there, well, somebody's already waiting for me. Oh, yeah. Let's go unload these guys, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap this up. We're getting close, guys. We're getting there. Getting, making, oh, good. It's parked in the perfect spot. Look at that. It's like he knows what he's doing. Uh, not much left in this one, but I can see the claws on the far side as well. Anyways, we'll wrap this up. This shouldn't take us too, too much longer. I think we're over halfway done. A little over that. And then back over across the field to the claws. Oh, man. Look how much we've got harvested here. This is great. There's a ton done. Zip back around. He's just finishing off the last little patch back there. That'll take no time. I'm going to grab him in a sec and push him all the way to the far end. Since uh, we didn't really calculate our middle of the field very well. I think we missed that by a landslide, to be honest. That was ridiculous. It wasn't even close. <laughs> it wasn't even close to the middle of the field. Oh, well. That's fine. It'll work out in the long run. We're just wrapping up down in the field. I wanted to bring the, this combine back to uh, where it was before. Oh, watch over that ditch. Give it a quick scrub down and pretend like it never really moved. We'll see. Look at our bank account. We got nailed with another loan payment on that other combine, that claw. Yeah, guys, look at our uh, bank account now as well. 12 grand in the hole. We got hit with another lease payment, I think, for the, uh, the claws. That hurts. Stay there. Let's give this thing a quick scrub down uh, and pretend like this never was used for anything. Oh, better turn those hazards off. That'd be a dead giveaway, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. If only there was a way I could uh, take the hours off of that combine. <laughs> put it up on a hoist and put it in reverse. Feels like it's like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> Lift it up and put it in reverse on Max for a while and see if I can take the hours off somehow. <laughs> that wouldn't work. Uh, we've got a little bit left to still do in this little piece here. I've got one last little quadrant. I don't think, guys, I'm going to have enough room in the uh, in the bins. I think we're going to end up with the full bins. So that's going to be uh, 140,000 liters total we've already dropped off. Plus, we're probably going to have another couple more loads from uh, from this by the time we get it all said and done. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good harvest. On to our last pass here. Oh, man, we've got a lot of canola. We dumped that off. So we did, what is it, 70,000 liters times two. Plus, whatever I've got in here now, another, uh, I think there's another 30 some odd thousand currently in the bins. Plus another 10-ish that we're going to be dropping in right away. Not a bad harvest, guys. That's serious. Uh, that's some serious canola. Now, I was checking out prices. So we're gonna get, we have a ton of it. Canola prices are not, it's not a great time to sell right now. Uh, it's not looking like winter until winter is our best time currently. We'll see on the global market how that affects things. We'll have to check that out next time. We'll see how uh, how that all works out. Oh, 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 easy, easy, easy. Get into the second bin here. I don't want to put it in the third. Second bin. Nice. Right there. Um, yes, yeah, so the global market looks like it's a little bit better than in-game market by a couple hundred bucks, um, a thousand liters or whatever it is. So we'll have to wait and see, but the, this currently the, the, the market looks like it gets better come winter time for, for our canola. So we'll have to wait a few days at least and see uh, what happens when that goes on. But for now, we'll just store this. May even ship this to our warehouses around the world. I don't know. We'll have to talk with Stevie and see what he's thinking about that. But that's it for the harvest. That is going to do it. Cool, guys. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. All that fun stuff there. And I'm going to go clean some equipment. Have a good day, guys. This is Clutch. We're in out.